Yeah, big welcome to you, my dear Leo. So the sun today is in Cancer, giving the light to Leo. And when I place Leo to the right, we can see that you are recognizing the Holy Grail. The wild side in you knows the Holy Grail that Cancer is bringing to you through its light. Now the interesting thing is that Cancer is ruled by the Moon and is in the Sun. You are ruled by the Sun and you are in the Moon. So there's an oxymoron happening, there's a mingling happening, there is something happening. And you feel that very much, right? And so the story here just by Sun and Moon today, really today, um, is that we will see what Cancer is wanting to tell you through the Holy Grail and that you have now the opportunity to learn something deep down in your guts, right, in your subconscious through the Moon. So the fourth house of family, friends and family, and you're the fifth house of joy, of having fun. And card number seven, card number eight. So we see what the story is going to be. The yoga position for Cancer is Ashwa Sanchalan Asana, the high lounge. We are embodying ourselves, the horses that pull the chariot. And for you, of course, I gave you the Simhasana, the position of the lion's breath where we stick the tongue out and we are coming into the center of the in and exhale here at the roar, at that, right? I am the wild one. I am here the lion that is knowing how to use this breath in a very clear and conscious way. So this is the story just today through sun and moon. Your court card is the King of Wands here in this deck. The good tarot, it's the King of Fires. And you see he has the sun around his head and the heart here at his chest. And if your birthday is between July 13 and August 12, then this is your court card. If not, you can look in the description box below. I have listed all the cards there. Back to the last reading, because everything is cyclical for me. Cancer's Sun is giving Leo Moon the light, expand and hear the call for greatness deep within. So you had the Six of Wands, the call, and again the Six of Wands. So you had 12 Wands, a 6-6 six, six portal, with the call that is actually letting you know I need to be who I want to be because Six of Wands is Jupiter in Leo. And so Jupiter in Leo is the expansion, is the growth cycle that we go through, but then also we contract again, right? That's what's so powerful in the tarot is that we learn to expand and also to contract. I'm going to pull one overall card from the Lifruma Healing Oracle, which is my latest deck. I just got this a few weeks ago. And I got it because the rune alphabet is in here. And I think it's important to have that because the rune is the first, one of the first, maybe, um, alphabets or ways of speaking or ways of communicating. And so I thought this one was very uh, beautiful because um, he is a very eclectic person, the way he describes these cards. So you got 
at Berstan, burst out free, the number 55. So I'm going to hold the card here into the camera and you can stop the video and you can read it yourself. The message. Tension creaks and arches as the ancient yew bow suppresses, rayless tortures endured for aeons. The arrow shelf only holds so long. Even when the serving point is pulled tight and knuckled back, fastened hearts demand their liberation. The taut bowstring knows this faux obsessive pairing will eventually break free from its narcissist fist. At some point it will burst out and flee the archer's control. Fletcher's gift arrows feathers to sail safely away, flying alone to target a new home. So you get a 5-5 five five portal right away. And it looks like a house. And one, two, three, four, five lines. And when you look closely, you see an arrow going to the right and three arrows going to the left. And that has for me a significance, right? Because I can see that one path goes out, but to the within, the soul path is three steps deep to the soul, right? The three is then that deeper consciousness to the left, the soul path, body, mind and soul. And then the fourth is the physical path that we go out in this world. So let's begin on the position of the fool comes Capricorn, the devil. The number 15, the one and the five. So you have then kind of five, 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 but I calculate the 15 together, which becomes a six. The sixth chakra, the third eye, the horns that we use to escape the social status, the attachment that we feel um, that we cannot escape, but we are by using the third eye. And the interesting thing here, using your guts, and you see a face here in his belly. And so Capricorn is literally telling you, well, observe the social status, and you see now how she is facing the left spinning path, the path that what the spin the earth does, or the wobble the earth does around its own axis to the left, which lasts 25,800 years, right? And then divided through 12 makes an age of 2,150 years. And so here you are called almost to observe what's happening here through the five senses. Two times five is the creativity in your five senses, the duality in your five senses, the attachment to overcome the five senses to go into the sixth sense, right? The 15 here in a way, the one, the magician and the five, again, the hierophant or then the five senses, like I said. So you're getting right away a tool to recognize, well, here on a physical level, because you see the square where he stands on, the four. Here the fourth arrow is attaching you, but the other three arrows are helping you to liberate, which is the soul path that you can take. On the position then of the magician comes here the holy mountain. So climbing up the ladder, the social status that brings you into the third eye, here brings you up to this mountain 
and we see the 25, so there is another 5, right? We have 15, 25, 5, 5, 5, 5. But of course this becomes a 6 and this becomes a 7 and so he speaks Cancer to you, right? Cancer is here, Alistair Crawley, Cancer card, the success to go out and use the Holy Grail. And then with the one it creates an eight, right? Magic sees from above that things unfold. The seven, the success to go and climb up the mountain, but he sees the infinite. He sees from even higher above that magic is always there and then the eight creates the eight here to you, right, with the magician. So you have an eight, eight portal with your strength card. Then on the position of the high priestess comes here the king of cups, which is a Scorpio. So there's a Scorpio that is looking at you, how you're going up the mountain and you are connecting with your element, the sun. And this is your intuition goes deep down into the emotional possibility to see intuitive what spirit wants to tell you. This is the 8 zodiac sign, 2 and 8 is a 10, so there is a 1. The magician, or the magic, see the magic in the 1, in this moment up here where you're sitting up at the mountain, and you have overcome the attachment of the 6, you went from 6 to 7 to 8, because 8 is your number, right? Finding your strength by looking deep into your emotions. And so then here up with the High Priestess, you are arriving when you allow yourself to be emotionally deep, you can arrive at yourself. Then comes on the position of the Empress, which is a state of consciousness, right? The Magician is a state of consciousness where the inspiration of the idea to climb the social status, that's the foolish idea that you're proclaiming by calling into this instrument and letting everybody know in the soul world, right, because it's facing the left. You want all the souls to know, hey, I want to climb up the ladder. I want to reach my third eye to liberate myself from things that bind me to a world here that creates evil situations. And then you have the inspiration of the magician that's the state of consciousness, what you do then with this newfound realization. You go up the mountain, the holy mountain, and you become one with the element of the sun, which rules you. And then go deep down into your emotional side, right? This is your intuition, the state of consciousness that says intuitive, you must dive deep down into the deep ocean of here the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is looking at the mountain, right? So going high up or deep down is in the end the same. And then from there on it's almost like now the state of consciousness of the Empress is that you realizing that here you're giving birth to this idea to this consciousness, to this new state of consciousness, and then you take the path forward. And so the zero here, the fool, le fou, right? These are French cards. And even though his pants is pulled down, he emerges out of this deep emotional realization, I want to take a new path. And 
she is helping you. The Empress is helping you to take that path because she gives birth to everything. Every new idea that we want to take, she gives birth to. And then so you continue your path because then on the position of now the sun in Cancer is bringing the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is the dominion of the dualities, the dominion to recognize that you have the power to combine the dualities as that, well, now I can create out of two becomes four, right? A crossing. And it's Mars in Aries. And so there is, with the seven and the two, a nine, an inner knowing, an inner knowledge, a deep tantric inner knowledge that deep within we find the love. Deep within there is this holy grail and I can create a spark with that holy grail and inspire myself, right, to be now of service, of giving you walking into this. Because then, on the position of the king of fire, you in the center of the reading, comes the three of air. And that's always a little bit that moment where, okay, Saturn in Libra is telling you, well, there is a big painful situation nestled within. You see one, two, three birds, and you are getting away from a situation and recognizing you got to listen to your heart. You got to listen to what makes you happy. It's almost like these two wands are these two birds. It's almost like what you have encountered here when you took that new step out of the deep ocean, right? The new birth, you walking right away into something that you recognize is difficult for you. So, because a lot of people read this always as like there is a relationship and you being cast out, right? And so these two are these two, the dualities, right? Here's it's the duality. But you gotta find your love and you have that love when you take care of yourself, when you are with yourself for quite a while, right? Even though maybe you just ended a relationship so, also, this can be a world pain. The three is the Empress, right? And the Empress is always that, okay, I give birth to a new creation, but it's all in your mind. And then on the position of the Strength card comes you, right? I have a German and I have a English deck of these cards because I also do German readings. And so, to keep the deck intact, right, I am shuffling the whole deck to get the card. And of course, to show you on the position that the card came up, is you, comes you. So this is the first time I see an 8-8 eight, eight portal. So here you were screaming at her and you're saying, wake up, let go of this. You are worth it. And she is literally holding him and she's like, yes. And you see that here is now an 8-8 eight, eight portal, 2 times 8 become creative in the way you are connecting to that infinite potential deep within you because you found the 8 here in the Magician and the Holy Mountain. You found it. And so now you recognize this painful situation, you are able to overcome because you have brought yourself up into the mountain, up to where you gain strength, where you all alone, but also can go deep right into your emotions, into your intuition. And so this is the central card, is you, you came up. Then on the position of the moon, comes the fortune's wheel. 
Number 23 to the intuition three the empress giving birth to your intuition through the moon but next month the new moon in your sign is going to give you the expansion right like i said jupiter in leo last time in the cancer reading you have two times the six which is jupiter in leo and so here the moon now helps you to expand further the one and the eight creates a nine plus the five creates a 14 again we have a five left so here you have the five and you have a five five here you have a five here and of course you have a five here right so you have one, two, three, four, five fives. But to be fair, right, you have five, five, five. Because when I calculate the other ones together, then the five disappears. But what's left in the end, the essence that's left is three times the five. The wheel of fortune or fortune's wheel is bringing you the luck and the right timing that you have arrived right and that you're in the right timing and now the path continues right it's almost like saying yeah you will see now you will reconnect to who you are deep within then on the position of the sun your ruling planet or star it's a dwarf star comes the sun and so here the six is speaking to you with the 19 then that becomes a 25 right and the 25 you had so now you get fortunately a closer look to the sun because here you see it from the distance it's almost like here you meditated upon it you saw through the magician that actually you are going up to the mountain right to be liberated from the social status and then here now on the position of the sun you get a closer look at the sun and look there are two people sitting now while here you are alone you're sitting alone up here and so there is something deep within you helping you to recognize how powerful the sun is and this is the number six right and so the 25 is a seven plus the one then has become the eight here we have the 19 plus the six is a 25 right again you're up in the mountain but now you see and look at it because the sun is literally telling you well then have a look at it and then the uh, number is then calculated together the seven and so the seven of the cancer in the sun is telling you well have a look how powerful the sun is what is ruling you and so the sun on the position of the sun is telling you well next month you have sun and new moon in your sign and you're gonna have quite a fortunate moment to let go of this right let go of what you have left behind because you decided to take the human path and leave that leave them and then you had these two right and you saw okay now i continue and now here there is a couple again and they look or two girls right so with your friends be happy with your friends and see up at the mountain the close-up picture of the sun which is a dwarf star and so then on the position of the world 
then the influence to the world is that the chariot has given you the power of love and you can go out into the world, right? And the world number 21 becomes a three and the seven becomes a 10. And so there comes again that one consciousness that is giving you a higher power because here you see the six and here is the six as the six that can overcome any negativity, any, you know, devilish desire to be attached. And the light and the love of the cancer is helping you now to see the Holy Grail and to give light to Capricorn because they're opposite of each other. Cancer and Capricorn are opposite of each other. So now Cancer is going to the Capricorn month where Cancer gets its full moon. And so you are getting through Cancer already a pre-understanding that you in the next month get your new moon, sun and new moon in your sign. A big ceremony that you can create for yourself to overcome also these attachments right to the dark and that you want to liberate yourself right because you got the fool on the empress and so you're going to liberate yourself and cancer is helping you this month to do that to feel the light bursting out the light that you are the fortune's wheel, the luck and the right timing that is now helping you to move to your new moon in the next month. Wow. So recognize that the six, six portal here is giving you the understanding you have it deep within you. You know what your guts is telling you and that you have to reach that mountain top and now you are close and you see how powerful the sun is and so allow this power to support you, allow this power to give you all you need, right? Because you have the magician and you have on your position here the strength card and 8-8 eight, eight, recognizing that you will understand in the next month what all of this is about because you came up on your position and you will have the new moon as well Right, so it's almost like this. You will have you and the fortunes, luck, right? And of course, also this. I think this is the uh, picture for the front. You will have next month this. Look at that. So get ready. And of course, then the 555 portal here is well, if you go this path, but with the other three this path, here you find yourself and here you find the element of the sun giving you the power to be truly you, to be here this burst out free inspiration of the want because you are holding the want, right? You are holding the spear as the king of fire and so here this is the inspiration for the next month sun and new moon in your sign until then i thank you so much for being with me namaste